Welcome back to the channel. Today in this episode, we'll be looking at the 2013 Honda Ridge line. Uh, we'll be installing these uh, vent visors. Uh, in this particular model, it's uh, see-through, so it's a smoke finish. I'm not sure if there's a solid finish or not, but this is the uh, smoke one. So light can, trans uh, can pass through these. Uh, along with the 3M uh, double-sided tape. Uh, again, I'm not sure how exactly sturdy these are. Um, so, uh, we'll see. I mean, I got these for, I believe, 30 bucks on eBay. Not too bad. Uh, per the instruction, well, it didn't come up with any instruction for these, uh, for these vent visors. I had to YouTube it. Uh, basically, just clean the channels with some kind of, uh, alcohol. Um, just get the dirt out, clean these right here. And then you stick them in, leave the windows closed for 24 hours. And that should be good. So what I have here is a microfiber towel. Best way to clean anything. Some alcohol. Let's pour liberally. And just wipe away. And uh, that might dry the plastic out right here, but should be fine. See how dirty that is? So make sure you clean it really good. Same for the back. Give it a good clean. Uh, all right. Skip that. All right. That should. That should actually do it, I think. But let me give it another rub. I see how clean that goes. Uh, clean. All right. So once that's done, <clears throat> grab your driver's side panel, <coughs> find a knife, this is, <coughs> this wasn't actually planned, so excuse the mess. Alright, get that out, perfect. I it's pretty good. All right, so basically you want to dry fit it first, so it goes all the way down here, and boom. I didn't clean that section, so I'm gonna clean it real quick. Uh, that. Make sure everything is, all the gunks are out. <clears throat> all right, dry it up. Let that dry for a second. Um, let's do the back one then, since I have to let that dry. So let's do the back end. The back end are both the same. So it doesn't matter which one goes on which side. <clears throat> so let's do the back end first, which is good because the back end is pretty simple. So you peel. Perfect, and then you slide it in. Easy enough. Easy enough. All right, let's get that window roll up. Here, let me. Uh, that's pretty dry. All right, let's get this done. I'm gonna roll these windows up. Simple, simple, simple. Oof, this is like I'm hurting it. Alright. Alright, that looks good, that looks good. I'm not sure this All right, so we got one side down. Let's close the window. Oh, where's my keys? Gotta find my keys first. All right, close this window on this side. All right, that 
you apply the pressure. <coughs> and it looks like it's not gonna go anywhere, actually. So that's good right there. Looks really good. I have my doubts on the appearance, but the ones that I've seen are on the surface, which looks pretty tacky, but this one looks looks good. Looks good. That one actually looks really good. Uh, let's do the other side. I don't like how this is not matching up. Um, I don't like how this is not matching up with that arch right there. So, but I mean, it is what it is. So I'm not sure the particular brand on these on these uh, vent visors. I have to double check. Um, but I hope they hold up. So. These uh, 3M tape might not be actually 3M. You know how it is. So, got that installed. Let's do the other side. <coughs> Same process. So let's start with this right here. Go up. Surprisingly, it's really dirty. Let that dry, then we should be good. <clears throat> this process is actually much quicker than I expected. Again, let's see, there's some kind of adhesion to it, but not too much. hope it does hold. Alright, so I'm going to stick this side in first. And this. And so, same thing happened on this end as well. This side doesn't even stick at all, actually. That's normal. We may have to get better double side tape. <clears throat> because that one wasn't sticking. Alright. This one is sticking, this one isn't. I don't know why it's not sticking. All right, that's somewhat holding. Or right, you want it just hold, it's enough. You put the windows up so it can actually squeeze that tape against the plastic molding. So let me do that real quick before it falls. an eye on it and see if it shifts. Perfect. Do the back end. Perfect. Alright, so that's it for that project. Um, let's show you guys how it looks like the inside. So, I mean, that right there, that line, uh, it's not really bothersome. Actually, it looks pretty good, actually. Let's go into the real quick. Show you guys how it looks like from the inside. That was painless to install. All right, so not only does it block the wind, but actually provide an additional shade from the sun. I think this is a, a well worthy product actually. Huh. I mean, it's not much, but it does provide some, some UV protection. <clears throat> on both sides 
if you don't have tinted windows, that's great. Actually, it looks really good. Uh, let me do a walk around real quick to show you guys how it looks like on the outside where there's much more sunlight. All right, let's do. All right. So that's how it looks like in the sunlight. Looks great. Actually, it's looks, it looks perfect, actually. I'm not bothered by the look of it. Uh, definitely go with in channels versus the, uh, the one that you tacked on the, on the outer channel. So I'm not sure if it's called outer channels or not, but go with the in channels. It looks great. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.